Welcome to video 9 in my intro to HTML web video series. This video is going to focus on the HTML list. The HTML list is just a collection of pieces of information that are all directly related to one another. Uh, they can be ordered lists, they can be unordered lists, they can be definitions lists. An ordered list would be something that has a specific sequential order. It could be something like an outline or it could be a set of directions that uh, tells you to get somewhere or maybe even directions more like a recipe. An unordered list is an unordered collection of information, things that don't need to be in a specific order. Maybe it's a list of ingredients that you need for that recipe from your ordered list. So let's look at the syntax of lists. Lists are nested things, just like tables are. They start out with their root element. I'm going to start out with a UL or an unordered list. UL opens and closes. This tells the browser that an unordered list is going to begin and end. Inside of every list you need one or more list items. A list item is just going to be one of those pieces of information that has a bullet or a number before it. So a list item is going to look like this. LI opens and LI closes. You can actually technically according to the W3 uh, standards leave out the closing LI but I like to put it in there just out of habit because it gets you into the habit of closing all the elements that you need to. But as you're really as you become more practiced with HTML and you start to learn which elements you can choose not to close, get in the habit of choosing not to close some of those elements like li. But for now, we're going to close it. And in between the li's, you're going to put your content, item 1. So each li will establish one bulleted item, item 2. Item 3, item 4, item 5. So I've got a five item list here. So what you'll see in the browser is a list of five items that are all bulleted. Save it, launch it in the browser, and that's what it looks like a five item bulleted list. So this is an unordered list. The bullets don't have any specific numeric or alphabetical ordering to them. They could be whatever order you want them to be in. An ordered list defaults to a numbered list. And it's basically the same thing. If I wanted a five item ordered list, I would change the UL to OL. And then these list items are exactly the same. Each one of these list items will establish a number for our list. So save it. Go back to the browser and refresh it. And it changed our list into a numbered list. Pretty simple syntax. It's got one level of nesting. We've got our root element, and then we've got our inside elements, our descendant elements. So it's the OL or the UL and our LIs. If I wanted to have both an OL and a UL in the same document, looks like this. Change the OLs here to ULs. Refresh it. There you go. Now, lists can get more complex. If I wanted to, I could nest lists inside of lists. For example, if I wanted to do a uh, an outline, let's say I wanted to do a, a numbered outline inside of a series of bullets, I could do something like this. Inside of my li, inside of my first li, I could nest an ol set. Open the ol, close the ol, inside of, nested inside of, one of the li's. Now, as you know, ol's need to contain some li's. So I'm going to make these two items. one A, one B. So now I've got a UL and in the first item I've nested an OL with two items. If I save it and refresh it, what it'll look like is this. There'll be a bullet here 
and then I'll have the next list tabbed over. Kind of interesting. If I take it outside of the li and put it underneath the li, put an item back in here, save it and refresh it. It makes sure that you don't have that bullet right before the first tabbed over item. So anytime you nest a list inside of a list, what it's going to do is it's going to tab it over like this. So that's the basic syntax of lists and nesting lists. You can nest lists inside of lists or you can have just a list with its own items nested inside of an OL or UL. So in review, lists are by nature nested. They have a root element, and they have their descendant elements. They've got their OL or UL. They've got LIs to make the bullets. You can nest lists inside of lists. Every time you nest a list inside of a list, it will tab the nested list over in the browser. Pretty cool. In the next video, we're going to focus on styling these lists. And I'll show you how to make an outline that has numbers and letters in it.